Okay, so Snoop Dogg is telling you to buy land in the metaverse. What do you think? Drop your comments down below. I'm going to get into it because people are paying tons of money now to buy virtual land next to celebrities. Is this just the tip of the iceberg? Is this a trend that will continue? How profitable will land be in the metaverse? We're going to get into it in this video. So real quick, smash that like button, subscribe if you haven't, because if you're not yet in the metaverse, I'm going to put you on a few plays at the end of this video that's going to help your portfolio grow. All right, so the metaverse land grab is here. Should you move in? On Friday, get this, somebody spent $450,000 yesterday for a virtual plot of land next to Snoop Dogg's mansion in Snoopverse. <laughs> Can't make this stuff up. This is a section of the metaverse world in the sandbox, which is one of the leading cryptocurrencies in this space. It is definitely one that is top tier, in my opinion. That is sand. Snoop tweeted out our story on the price tag and said, that's a bargain. He might prove to be right. The metaverse land sale topped $100 million this week alone. Just this past week, that included $2.43 million for a parcel of land in Decentraland. That is a uh, ticker symbol, MANA another one of my favorites. Why don't I just drop those right now? So Sandbox, Mana, and Engine Coin are my top three plays. I've also been buying Gala Games, G-A-L-A. -A. I've actually bought it three times in the last week on the uh, little dip here that we had, uh, and then the big crash. Well, not the big crash, but the flash crash we had in the past 12 hours. I bought more uh, Gala. So I'm looking at that one as a play that really hasn't popped off yet that I think will. All right, so it might be tempting to dismiss all this metaverse madness, and it's really easy to throw your hands up and say, ah, this stuff doesn't make any sense, but uh, it's probably harder to get into it as much as you can right now because I think this is just beginning, okay? So the sandbox isn't even fully live yet. It only has like 1,700 active users, but here's the thing. This is set to take off, I believe, in the next five to 10 years. Why does a company like Facebook change their name to Meta? Okay, that's not just you know, by accident. They they see a trend here. They want to be first to the, at that table. So, all right, no matter what, uh, the SAND token is up 82% in the last month, while Decentraland's up 35%. The irony of Facebook's rebrand to Meta is that while crypto people mocked the company and its, shock suffered, uh, its stock suffered, uh, it's embracing the metaverse, which has boosted metaverse tokens. There's no question. So why all the hype? Well, the metaverse is not a new buzzword or a new concept, despite Zuckerberg's effort to brand it as his own. Neil Stephenson coined the term in 1992, actually. A little history lesson here uh, in his uh, book there, Snow Crash. Uh, so it's not a new thing. This is something people have been looking at for a long time. Of course, it's a lot of virtual reality and augmented reality kind of all colliding. Gaming will be big, but it's going to be everywhere, right? You're going to be able to go to a virtual concert, a virtual conference, a virtual meeting. Uh, this Kind of stuff we're doing right now on zoom uh this will be outdated in my opinion in the next five to ten years okay but uh i was just in our uh this is a uh tweet grab from eddie ganglin he says i was just in our gallery inside of the metaverse and someone walking through entered our gallery and began browsing my work we had a chat as i was finishing getting up for tomorrow after a five minute chat this person purchased uh an obama nft step out of your comfort zone this is pretty crazy. I mean, you have so many people buying NFTs within the metaverse. You're going to be able to show them off within the metaverse. That's another aspect to this uh, that is really interesting. So for now, the tokens are surging. There will be a pullback, in my opinion, but the land sales are multiplying. I think that is the area right now that is still so fruitful and so new. And it all suggests a future in which the metaverse becomes a thriving parallel to the physical, well, metaverse. <laughs> That's food for thought. Thanks so much for stopping in. Uh, smash that like button. Let me know your thoughts on your favorite assets right now as it relates to the metaverse. Uh, I gave you mine. Again, Sandbox, Decentraland, Engine Coin, Gala. Those are the four that I'm focusing on. Give you a few more that I'm looking into. My Neighbor Alice, okay? And that's going to be one that's going to pop, I think, next year. Uh, that game will be out next year. And Alien Worlds, okay? There's a couple other ones for you. UFO Gaming is another one that I like as well. All right, see ya.